what up you guys today I'm here at the near the causeway Corpus Christi man we're going boat gigging I'm so excited but my friend will he's already out there without me I better hurry wait for him to come back all right see him there you that's sick that's crazy <laughs> look at that light oh my goodness how'd you do that oh dude look at this I'm standing on this tiny boat oh no we're gonna crash <laughs> oh sorry I should have blocked us I don't know if I could have though I don't know if I could Oh, dude, this is sick, man. Look at this. What up, you guys? So I'm going to apologize ahead of time for having some bad footage, but this was my first time bow fishing, and it was honestly pretty exciting. So I'll just be telling you guys all about it while showing you guys some shoddy footage. All right, hope you guys enjoy. Dude, look at this bow. This is yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that is intense. Woo! Here we go. Man, that's insane. <laughs> Man, did I tell you I love boats? Okay, so this is what it looked like for most of the night. The water was very clear and, um, super shallow you know the prop kept getting stuck in the weeds from time to time and we just had to push ourselves along with sticks it was about like you know anywhere between one and three feet deep in the bay so super shallow decently clear and very few fish so that was a little unfortunate but uh yeah it was it was still cool though um we did find some fish eventually but here is master will Dude, with the bow demonstration finger above it's free line at all times yeah unless you take this little dangly thing and squeeze it in and it fills in make sure this isn't tangled on anything okay just slide like that yeah. you want this to be perpendicular to the string So this is exactly what you don't want to happen. The line going underneath the boat. Then it gets really hard to pull it back above. Oh here. Just if anything just pull it in, pull the line. Yeah, I got it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, whoops. Sorry, Will. So what you're supposed to do is as soon as you shoot, you're supposed to pull it in with your hands, not the reel, as fast as you can and dislodge it from the ground and just pull it up on the boat and then reel it in while it's on the boat. See, look at this mess I caused. Well, anyways, Will got a stingray while we were waiting. Oh, that's ugly, man. Chopped up by a boat. Dude, why is it so ugly? Like a stingray. Yeah, yeah. Whipping. Dude, it is so freaking ugly. I had no idea. Yeah. 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 It's like 10 inches or 12 inches. Cheap head though. That was a sheep's head. So after missing a couple fish, I finally got the hang of it. 
you basically have to just like react really quickly on the spot you see a fish and then you just pull it really hard and let loose and so here you go I finally found a nice sheep head sitting there and big I got something! I got something! What is that? How did I get that? That's crazy! How did I get that? Dude, that barely... Dude, is that crazy? No, I shot it from above. That's the hard way. No, that's the hard way. That's not like that flounder. That was the easy one. Dang! Look at that! After, I'd say six, right? Probably six shots. Ah, I got myself a nice... That's a that's a legal size sheep's head for sure, yeah. That's a nice sheep's head. Oh my goodness, you guys! Woo! Yes! Yeah, I destroyed the meat on one side. Yes! Oh, come on! Got him! Ooh! Yeah! Yeah, that was a nice shot. That, that was really good. Dude. That was a nice shot. Perfect. Oh. Let's get a light on this guy. Yes. Yeah. Good on video. Yes. I mean, the video probably sucks, but it is on the video. But there you go, second sheep's head. That's that. Cut it real quick. All day, baby. All day. And that's the end of my bow fishing trip. Thanks, Will. It was pretty awesome. We got two sheep's head, and um, there's still time in the in the night, so I actually went on a quick little dive. So here's how it went. The visibility wasn't that great. It was okay. But the cool thing was, I saw a ton of baby flounders, like a couple you see here. Some of them you can even touch. Overall, I encountered two legal sized flounders, one that I missed. And one that I got. I got one more sheep's head, and that's how I ended my night. Three sheep's head and a flounder. Not bad at all. So yeah, that was my experience bow fishing and then spear fishing after. Um, I'm pretty happy about it. And overall, I'd say it was a success. Um, I even saw a turtle, so that was cool. Well, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned for some Texas crabbing.